Hello everyone, um, I'm here today to do a little manga haul for you, or actually it's kind of a, well, it's a moderate sized haul. Um, I don't want to show my face today just because I'm tired and lazy, so I'm just going to show you the manga that I bought. So I'm going to start off with the manga that I got from Hastings for extremely cheap prices. Um, I only bought like three manga, but here we go. We have the seventh volume of Butterflies Flowers. Um, I bought this... Uh, used at Hastings for a dollar forty nine, which is amazing. Um, I haven't read this series yet, but I really, really want to. Um, I hear great things about this series, so dollar forty nine. I couldn't pass up the deal. And then next, I got um, Missions of Love Volume One, which is very, very exciting. I know that uh, October really likes this series. It's one of her favorites, so. I really like the artwork. It's really good. It's by Emma Toyama, um, who is the creator of I Am Here and Manga Dogs. Or is it, is it called Manga Dogs? I forget what it's, her new series is called, but this is her um, older shoujo series. It's not that old, I guess. But, yeah. This one was five forty nine, and I actually just realized it's, it's a little ripped. Um, I did not know that. Oh, well. But it was still, like, half price, so that's not that bad. Uh, next, we have Sweet Rain, Volume 1. This is a Christmas manga about a girl who finds this guy who's actually a reindeer. Um, not sure too much about it. It's from the same creator of Land of the Blind Blindfolded. This was also $1.49, so I had to buy it. Uh, just, just to, you know, buy some new shoujo yeah, uh, manga. Um, looks kind of cute. I like the artwork can see pretty nice so we'll see how that is it might be good might not be we'll see but for a dollar I couldn't pass it up the next manga I just bought today and that is Millennium Snow volumes 3 and 4 holy moly it's really bright um, one second there that's much better okay so we have volumes 3 and 4 of uh, Millennium Snow which is the final two volumes in the series um, I haven't started the series yet, but uh, it looks really good. Um, the art in this is a lot better. Uh, this was made after she wrote Oran. This is the same creator as Oran High School Host Club. So, really nice, pretty art. Um, very different. So, I really want to read this. This is about a vampire and a girl who I believe is dying of cancer. So, it sounds really interesting. So, I'm really interested in reading that one. Then I got Black Rose Alice, Volume 4. This is the newest volume of the series. Um, I'm actually really sad because apparently this series is put on hiatus in Japan. There's only six volumes. So, that's really sad. I, uh, I'm really, really mad about that. I'm not going to be able to get an ending to this series. Um, unless they call Volume 6 the final volume, in which case it wouldn't even be the real ending. So that really sucks. But I love that series, so, oh well. Then we have Spell of Desire, Volume 4. This is actually the penultimate volume. The fifth volume comes out soon, and that will be the final one. Very excited. I'm not sure what I can show you. Alright, there's something. I can't... This is uh, rated M, so I can't really show too much. Um, but anyway, this is just a beautiful story. I love it so much. Highly, highly recommend this series. The next one I got is So Cute It Hurts. This is by Go Ikiyama, or Ikiyamada. And this is the first volume in a new series by her. Uh, it's about this girl who trades places with her brother who goes to an all-boys school. And they uh, find love. And oh my god, it's so cute. Look at that. That's, that's a perfect, perfect description of this series. It's so adorable. Um, they find love. Uh, the boy, that's the boy cross-dressing as his sister, and that's the boy that his sister meets in the, um, what's it called? The boys' school. So, they fall in love with two very different people. Uh, he falls in love with a girl who is, uh, deaf, and I think that's her right there. I believe that's her. Yes, it is. Um, and... It's really, really cute, and the guy has an eye patch. There's the guy. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. I highly recommend this series. It was really good. I already read this volume. Very good series. Definitely can't wait to get the next volume of this. Uh, very excited for that one. Okay, so this next one, I got uh, the complete series 
of After School Nightmare. So I have volume one, there's volume two. I actually already own the first five volumes of this. There's three and four. I hope that's four, yeah that is. And then five, volume six and seven, eight, nine, and the final volume, volume 10, which is very cool and awesome. I absolutely love this series. It's beautiful and just very, very different. I'm only on volume three so far, but I highly recommend picking this up if you can find it. Um, it's just, it's a really great shoujo, uh, kind of, it's, I wouldn't call it boys love at all, but it's like, uh, the main character is this guy right here, oh, we can't see him, right there, who is, he has the body, the upper half of a female, no, the upper half of a male and the lower half of a female, and these two people fall in love with, I don't know if I want to call him a he or a she, they fall in love with this person, and it's really, really great so far. There's also this nightmare world that they get sent into, which is really crazy, and just a lot of crazy stuff happens. I highly recommend this series. It's really, really great. Uh, you can find it on eBay. eBay. I found all these volumes for, like, I think $40 for the whole series, so amazing deal on eBay. I usually don't like buying there, but sometimes you can find really great deals. Like this next one, I found uh, Happy Hustle High, the complete series. I have um, volume one, and then two, three, four, my dog's coming in, <laughs> five. This is the complete shoujo series by Rei Takata, Takata, and uh, this is a series that my friend uh, October really, really loves, and... I'm really excited to finally own it. I think I got this for like 30 bucks, so amazing, great deal on this series. Uh, you can still buy this on Amazon for a pretty decent price. I think each volume goes for like $9 a piece on Amazon if you don't want to buy it used. Um, th these volumes were really, really great um, quality though, so I'm really, really happy about that. Cannot wait to read that. And then the last one I got from eBay is Tramps Like Us, Volume 1. I got this because of October as well, because she got the complete series. Don't even know if she likes the series or not, so maybe we'll find out together October, but we'll see. Um, I'm really interested in reading about that. It, it, was, it was literally like a dollar, I think. Um, it won't say on the back, but it was like a dollar, so I had to... I couldn't pass up the deal. Okay, now for something a little different that I've never... I might have hauled once, but I recently got into um, reading light novels, and Yen Press slash Yen On has been releasing really, really good releases lately. So I got the first volume of A Certain Magical Index. This is a light novel series that was in Japan, um, and this is also an anime as well. Um, the manga for A Certain Scientific Railgun came out as well. Lots of really nice pages. I really like this. Um, it does have artworks throughout it. Um, I can't get to it. Oh, I cannot. Where is it? Uh, what? I lost it. Okay, but um, there it is. Really good artwork throughout the book as well. Um, it's just, it's a really high quality book. I'm really, really happy about Yen Press for releasing this. There, uh, There's their logo for Yen On. That's their light novel. Um, that's. I think they started out as a novel series, like a novel publisher first. So that's cool. Uh, the next one I got is Log Horizon Volume 1, which is really, really awesome. Um, this, this series, I've really wanted to read it. It's like, sort of Sword Art Online-esque, except it's more RPG elements to it. Um, really, really interesting. I really like the layout for this. This is the chapter layout. Has some information on, like, the swords and the items that they use, and of course the character right there. Um, it's really, really good. I like it so far. And also, really cool, I'm not sure if I can show this um, in one shot, but it also comes with a fold-out poster. Sorry you can't see it very well. And it's also double-sided. Uh, but the double-sided um, side isn't very... It's, it's still nice, but it's not, like, the greatest thing ever. There's not much to look at. It's just the city or the village that they, they go to. Um, I have not read this yet, so I cannot really even talk about it. But I am so looking forward to reading this. It looks so awesome. 
And then there's one more I gotta show you. The last one I bought is The Devil is a Part-Timer, the first uh, light novel. I am already reading this, as you can see from my bookmark. Um, I'm on page, like, 70... 74. Um, and I really, really like it so far. It's really good. Um, it's really funny. A lot. It really, really follows the anime. The only difference so far is that Emmy has black hair in the novel. So... That's kind of cool, different. Um, it's really funny though, like the dialogue is just a hoot. I really, really highly recommend that series. Okay, and then the last part, I'm gonna totally steal this from October, but I'm gonna do the yaoi section. I only bought five yaoi this month, so not much, um, but I did order some more, so that'll come out next month. But the first series I got is Crimson Spell. This is the uh, first volume of the series. I got a couple more. This is from the same creator as, um, what's this series called? The, the Finder series, uh, Ayano Yamane, and I have not read it yet. I'm not sure what I, I'm going to show you that. That's all I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a mature manga series. It's a fantasy yaoi, which I've never read before. So it'll be interesting to read. I think my friend really likes this. I am excited to read that. I also have volume two and volume five, which is which are the only volumes that they had at the bookstore at the time. Um, Barnes Noble never has yaoi, but they recently started getting some. So that's interesting and exciting to learn about. Um, I'm really excited to read that series, though. I want to see how it is. Um, and then, I, one the only yaoi that in this haul that I've actually read uh, is Hide and Seek Volume 1, which is really, really good. This is a side story to, uh, what is the series called? The Bonds of Dreams, Bonds of Love by Yaya Sakuragi. Really, really love this series so far. I, actually, I'll show you from the back because I don't think... Well, I guess there's a little... There's not... It's not... It's just a ch chapter page. But anyway, uh, this is really, really cute. It's a side story um, about this guy right here named Sa... Shuji, I think is his name. Yeah, Shuji, who is a divorced uh, dad. And this guy, who is a doctor, and I believe his name is Saji. Um, and they kind of fall in love a little bit. He thinks it's going to be a one-night stand, but he wants something more. And... A little bit of a relationship develops in this series, and it's really, really cute. I need to get more volumes of this. Um, that will be coming in the next manga haul video, for sure. Definitely recommend that series. And then the last volume I got today uh, is Love Stage, the first volume. This series just came out uh, this month, I believe, which is awesome and exciting. It might even come out next month, and I got it early for my stuff. But I've heard a lot about this series. Um... I've just, I've, I've heard really good things about it. The anime came out. It's a really, really popular anime. And I am really excited to read this. Uh, very, very, very excited. I have not read it yet, so I don't even know what it's about. But um, it's very popular, so I'm interested in it. Okay, and that is my complete haul, all of the novels and manga that I got this month. So much stuff, too much to show you in one video, of course, but I couldn't help myself. Some of this was really, really cheap, and I'm just so excited to read all of this, and yeah. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you've read recently in the forms of manga or yaoi or even light novels. If you've read any of these, please let me know because I'm kind of brand new to it. So I'm very, very excited to jump into that. Thank you so much for watching and stay sexy.